Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be some underrated high-end beauty products. So these are products that I haven't really heard many people talk about, but I think that they are absolutely amazing staples in my makeup collection. I use them all the time and I really think that they should get more hype, basically. Um, there's a few products here, so, and there's, you know, I think that they're totally worth the money. Some of them aren't too expensive, some of them are a little bit more high-end. So, also if you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jess, I make two videos every week and I would absolutely love if you would click that subscribe button that's down here somewhere and you can click it and be a part of my YouTube family. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the products. The first one I'm going to talk about is actually a facial sunscreen. So, I have very sensitive skin and so does my husband and so facial sunscreens often break me out or make me oily or tacky or just don't sit well under my makeup but I have found one that I love. It's a little bit on the pricier scale but you get so much money, a lot of bang for your buck and yeah, I love it so much. I actually have the mini and the like big size. So it's great if you guys want to try this and see if it does break you out. Sorry, I have to tell you what it is. It's the Touche Face SPF 30 Facial Sunscreen by Mecca Cosmetica, which if you guys are not Australian, Mecca Cosmetica is our sort of like Sephora, except we do actually have Sephora, but they do actually have a website, I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to check them out, they do ship worldwide, but this is amazing, this does not break me out, it is beautiful under foundation as a primer, it really like sets my skin, it makes sure I don't get oily, it obviously has SPF 30 in it, so it's perfect, it comes in a travel size, so I stick this in my handbag in the summer, and this is my full size one for home. And also it's good for all skin types, like I have normal to dry skin, my husband has combination oily and this works well for both of us. So highly, highly recommend it, this does not get talked about enough and for a high end sunscreen it's actually pretty affordable compared to like your Kiehl's ones or something like that which are a little bit on the pricier scale. Continuing on with base products, this one is one that uh, used to be sort of talked about on YouTube but it's not really anymore and that is my MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. I picked this up on my way to my honeymoon because I didn't have anything super lightweight that I wanted to wear for every day. I have this in N1, so neutral one. I am very pathetic, but this is amazing. I really like this. This gives you a really glowy sort of medium to light coverage, but it's a very flawless look considering it's very light. Um, it is a water-based foundation. It's not super duper long lasting, but it lasts pretty well on my skin, which is like I said, normal to dry. Um, you have to shake it up. It's like I said, water-based. You have to mix the water with the foundation. I think a little bit goes a long way. It is buildable. I do reckon you can get a deep medium coverage with this. And I think that this is just really lovely. It does not break me out like a lot of MAC foundations do with my sensitive skin. And I think this should really be talked about a lot more on YouTube. The next base product is a foundation I found through Fleur de Force. I will leave her channel linked down below if you guys don't know who Fleur is. I love her. She was like probably like the second YouTube ever I ever watched and I'm still completely in love with her channel. I love her. She's just Loved, I love her. Anyway, this is the Shiseido Liquid Foundation UV Protection Water Resistant Broad Spectrum Foundation. Um, this is a little bit on the pricey scale, but I actually think this is amazing. This has SPF 30 built into it. I recently done a makeup tutorial using this foundation, so I'll leave that linked on the screen here if it's up or when it does go up. But basically, you need a tiny amount. This is quite full coverage for a very, very lightweight foundation. It feels like you're wearing nothing on your skin. It is water resistant, it does have really good SPF, it's really nice, you have to shake it up to apply it to your skin, but if you guys are one of those people that does not like your light coverage foundations, but you like really like airy foundations that are water based and sort of not heavy on your skin, I highly, highly recommend picking up a sample of this, and I have the shade... Uh, beige natural light beige which I think is the lightest shade so it's really really amazing and I really think that Fleur was onto something really great with this and if you are looking for a good summer foundation and happy to spend a little bit more money on it recommend this one it really needs to be talked about a lot more in the beauty world. The last face product I'm going to talk about my benefit what's up so this is not a product I've actually really ever seen talked about on YouTube. I hear people talk about the high beam and um, obviously the Jaclyn Hill highlighters. I um, hear about those all the time, the Becca ones. But I've never heard many people talk about this. And this is basically a cream highlighter. It has a smudger on one end and it is a sort of cream goldy pink tone on the other end. This is just beautiful. Like, I'm going to show you. I'm wearing it today, but like. 
It's a little bit golden, a little bit pinky toned. It's so pretty for every single makeup look. I wear this basically every single day. I think this is so underrated. It's a beautiful cream product. It goes into the skin smoothly. It doesn't flake. It gives you a really nice glow, as you guys can probably see. I'm obsessed with this, and I think it really needs to be talked about more. Moving on to eye products. This product is another one that I found from YouTube. Obviously, this one is from Rachel or Rachel Loves. Again, obsessed with her channel. I'm not, I've been watching it forever. And these are the Sephora Colorful Eyeliner 24 Hour Waterproof Eyeliners. So these are Sephora brands. So these are definitely high end, but they're on the cheaper scale of the high end. So I have the colors uh, Surfing USA, which is this blue, Walk on the Wild Side, which is this like olive green color, and Eccentric Diva, which is this purple color. And I just can't find, manage to find the black one, otherwise I would own that one too. I'm obsessed with these. These are the most beautifully pigmented, long-lasting eyeliners. And I have very oily eyelids, dry skin, oily eyelids, which is great. But I just think these are so, so, so beautiful. And these really do deserve a lot more hype on the internet than they get because they are such affordable eyeliners. So if you guys are looking for a really amazing waterproof eyeliner, go check these ones out. They're just, they're beautiful. Moving on to my next eye product, which is actually something I'm wearing on my eyes right now, and I use this in that makeup tutorial as well. Again, I'll leave it linked on the screen. And these are the Makeup Forever Aqua Cream Eyeshadows, and these are just beautiful. These are so pigmented, so long wearing, 100% waterproof, and they come in the most beautiful colors. If I could, I would own literally every single color that comes in these. I am just obsessed with them. I think they are so, so beautiful. So I'm wearing the gold shade in number 11, which is just gold today, which is this beautiful shade here. Like, they are just beautiful. I have used the number 12 copper in quite a few of my tutorials, but I'll show you that here. And again, I will swatch these all for you in the side. And the last one I have, I think it's just um, called brown or like dark brown or something, and this is number 14. So beautiful, they are a little bit pricey. I think for a cream eyeshadow, they are actually not bad at all. I think they were $34 here in Australia, which is really cheap considering the MAC ones are like 28 or 29. So I am absolutely obsessed with these. I have never heard these talked about on the YouTube or Bloggers video before, and when I tried them, I was so impressed with them that I had to go out and buy more. So if you guys are looking for an amazing staple eye cream and you have oily eyelids like I do, check these out. Last product I'm going to talk about are hyped but not really. And so the Morphe eyeshadow palettes, I have two of them, they're beautiful, but they are they are talked about a lot. The brushes, on the other hand, are amazing. I have three eye brushes, which are the B15, the B70, and the G17, which are basically two flat brushes and a shake and a blending brush. These are amazing. They're like six bucks each. They're so cheap. They're so amazing. They really pack on the color and blend it out really well. They're fluffy. They're soft. They don't shed. And they are truly amazing if you're looking for affordable makeup brushes. So those are all the products that I'm loving that I think really are underrated and that are really not hyped up enough on the internet. So go and check them out. I've written a full blog post. I will leave that written in the description box down below if you want to check it out and check out some photos. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!